Hello, and welcome to the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. My name is Dr. Tom Feldhausen, and I oversee hybrid research manufacturing here at the National Laboratory. My name is David Wilson. I'm an application engineer and MAZAC's liaison to Oak Ridge National Laboratories. MAZAC has teamed up with Oak Ridge to develop and enhance its industry-first hot wire laser deposition hybrid technology. The prototype of this joint effort is the machine that you see behind us. This is the MAZAC VC500A 5X HWD. It was designed and built in Florence, Kentucky, and it is the first hot wire laser deposition hybrid machine to the market. This machine has a work envelope of 500 millimeters in diameter by 300 millimeters tall, and it comes equipped standard with a 25 horsepower, 12,000 RPM, 40 taper spindle, as well as a four kilowatt fiber laser deposition system capable of up to 10 pounds per hour in steel. In a single setup, we can deposit virtually any ferrous material. We can then machine the deposited geometry into with full five axes of motion. The ability to perform both additive manufacturing and machining operations in the same envelope allows us reduced cycle times, significant material savings, and improved dimensional control of internal geometries compared over traditional manufacturing techniques. You'll recognize the component we're building right now as a marine propeller. Mazak's hybrid process is ideal for complex geometries such as this because it eliminates the need for costly, long lead time casting processes to create the near net shape. The integrated capability allows us to interleave the additive and subtractive processes to help minimize manufacturing material and tooling costs compared to traditional manufacturing techniques. Furthermore, the material utilization rate of this deposition process is in excess of 90%. This results in drastic material cost reductions when processing expensive exotic alloys that are often difficult to machine in the first place. Now this specific demonstration interleaves both the additive and the, and the machining operations in a single push button process is shown here. Now for this demonstration, even though it's a fairly small uh, marine propeller shown here, we're depositing 316L stainless steel on top of 316L substrate. Now with this, we're only doing one additive and one machining operation yet it's still using a push button process. And when we expand this like we've done in the past, David, when we look at very large marine propellers, we could start interleaving the two processes together. Because when we look at very large marine propulsors, they become very difficult to machine. You need a lot of reach and access. But when we interleave the two processes together, we can actually go between the additive and the subtractive process without having to move the part and refixturing it and we can have improved reach and access, be allowing us to machine these very complex geometries very easily. By interleaving the processes, uh, not only do we give ourselves the ability to reach um, tighter internal geometries, which would otherwise be difficult to machine, um, we also give ourselves a significant material savings over traditional processes, which would be a casting operation to achieve near net shape and then machining of the finished component or machining the entire finished component uh, from a piece of billet stock. Um, the, uh, the lead times associated with casting processes are typically very long with a lot of specialty uh, equipment involved and uh, your choices are very limited. Um, with uh, machining from a large piece of stock option, obviously you have significant increased material costs, uh, increased tooling costs, and uh, it's a lot harder to uh, process more internal geometries on the component itself. Uh, you can program it with your choice of CAM software, uh, just like you would program anything you've programmed in the past, and uh, it operates similar to any other Mazak machine.